Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am vlogging because Irma is coming for me. <laughs> if you guys have me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would already know I'm freaking out. All of the above. Anyways, if you guys don't know what Irma is, it is a category for hurricane. The eye will be right where I am. So the middle of it will be where I am. And then the rest of it will just be stirring around everything. I'm really not too happy about this. I may seem like very like, ah, oh, it's whatever. <laughs> um, I am really freaked out about it. But if I was here freaking out, it kind of get boring really quickly or kind of get annoying very quickly. So I'm just trying to make the best out of the situation because uh, I don't know if you guys heard about um, Harvey, I think. Harvey hit um, Tennessee, I think it was. And they lost 70 people. And um, I've only been alive for one other hurricane. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this as best I can. My arm was getting tired. When I was a baby, I experienced Charlie, but I don't remember that. So now we have this hurricane and it is huge. It is the size of Harvey and 70 people died because of the flooding and everything. It's kind of different though because Harvey was like not moving. It was just kind of staying in that position. So anyways, today I'm going to be vlogging the hurricane all that fun stuff. It is around three o'clock and my mom and I are gonna have to start being in our safest spot in our house around 7.30. So I'm gonna show you guys um, everything, all the situation, everything that's going on. So I hope you guys like this vlog. It's gonna be kind of hectic. I mean, there's a hurricane coming, so obviously it will be hectic, but yeah. So we are in my room, okay? We are looking out the window and this is what my window looks like. This is my backyard. We have so many branches on the ground. Can you guys, oh, can you guys, oh, focus. Can you guys see that? What the heck? So that's our yard and the hurricane hasn't even started yet. As far as my room goes, I'm just gonna kind of keep it how it is. Like, oh, hey, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna keep my room how it is. Uh, I don't really think that I need to take things off my ground and stuff just because I don't think it's going to flood too bad. Everyone says that like winds will be worse than flooding. Here's my cat Toby. He's wondering what's going on. There's the news that we've been following and everything. So this is like some foam, foamy stuff and my mom's going to put it on the like edges or like in the creases of our doors, just to kind of prevent any water coming in. We don't know how long power is gonna be out, so we have a bunch of food up there, and we have a lot of drinks. Got some water there. I am not going to a shelter or anything like that because my family is comfortable in our house rather than a shelter. We could go to a shelter, but then we'd have to get our cats all together and then ourselves together and we just feel very safe in our home so that's what we're going to be doing so we have power right now obviously but they're going to be they are going to be shutting down the power at eight o'clock tonight i don't know why but there's not much to do i have my journal that i like to write stuff in i have a book that i'm currently reading but other than that it's going to get really boring <laughs> we have board games and stuff but today, since like my Wi-Fi wasn't working working very well, I was just uh, dancing in my room for like two hours straight to my record player because there was like literally nothing else to do. So this is the hallway. This is our bathroom. This is my mom's room. That's my room. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be in this hallway. My door is going to be shut. So we're going to be hanging out right here. Pillows, blankets, and then if our window in our living room or any of these windows if they break we're gonna be going into my room and we're gonna be sitting in my closet so I kind of need to move my shoes cuz if this is what it comes to that's what we have to do we have to be in my closet we could go in my mom's closet but my closet is like very secure and it's like in the middle of the house and there's no windows around. 
So if that's what it comes to, we may need to move from there to here. That is what is going on right now. So I'll update you guys when something happens or when the hurricane is approaching. <laughs> so we are thinking that we're gonna go in here. So we are taking out all of my hanging stuff in my closet and I already moved my shoes. My shoes are in this bag and then I had a shoe shelf and then my guitar is out. It was also in here. And I think we're going to leave that stuff. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my mom. Mom, are we going to leave that stuff? It's fine with me. Yeah. So we're just moving the hanging stuff and my shoes. Just so we mm. have enough space for the both of us. So this is what my room is looking like right now. Everything is displaced. Nothing is in my closet. And then if you open up the door to my bedroom, uh, the hallway, we have some, we have a lot of pillows and we have some blankets. We got the radio here. I have my journal, my books, portable chargers, a pencil. We still haven't lost power, which is good. Let me turn my fan off. Hold up. Okay vacuum cleaner nice just ignore that hey guys it is the next day i survived irma so did my whole entire family um we never lost power sorry i didn't vlog at the beginning of the vlog you guys can tell that i said it was a category four then it turned into a category two i don't understand how hurricanes can do that they can go from like a five to a two that's crazy it really wasn't that bad. I'll show you guys my backyard, but I survived. What I thought like in my head was that like windows were gonna break and parts of my roof were gonna fly open. And then if I looked up in my house, it would just be like stars in the sky. This is the basically the first hurricane that I have experienced. I experienced one when I wasn't even one years old yet, so I have no memory of that. So this was basically my first hurricane, and I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I didn't know exactly what to expect. So again, I'm sorry I didn't vlog very much for you guys, but I survived. You guys can still see, like, all of the preparations and stuff that we had to do. My bedroom is kind of back to normal. I will show you guys. I thought I was going to have to go into my closet in the hallway like I was showing you guys. But I ended up just being fine watching TV in my couch. It was just like a regular night, but it was like very loud. <laughs> like outside, it was like howling. Like you could definitely hear the winds, but I thought it was going to be a whole lot worse. And it wasn't. I'll show you guys my room. And then that is it for this vlog. This is what my room looks like. Got my vacuum there. I have to vacuum my floor. But... This is what my room looks like. I'll show you guys my closet. My closet is back to normal. Shoes are back and everything. 